low temperature liquid refrigerant enters the evaporator coil which is placed inside the room as the refrigerant flows through the evaporator it absorbs the heat of the surrounding air in the process air cools down however the refrigerant is heated up and it gets converted into vapor the high temperature vapor refrigerant is ejected out from the evaporator Before the refrigerant enters the compressor, it passes through an accumulator. The accumulator separates any liquid in the refrigerant, thus avoiding any damage to the compressor. The refrigerant then enters the compressor. The compressor compresses the refrigerant. This leads to the increase in pressure and temperature of the refrigerant. Finally, a high temperature, high pressure vapor refrigerant is ejected. from the compressor which then enters the condenser coil placed outside the room as the refrigerant moves through the condenser it cools down the cooling process is aided by circulating air through the condenser coil The refrigerant leaving the condenser is low temperature liquid refrigerant which then enters the expansion valve the expansion valve decreases the pressure of the refrigerant and the refrigerant leaves as low temperature low pressure liquid refrigerant This low temperature low pressure liquid refrigerant again enters the evaporator and the cycle repeats itself A motor is installed inside the casing of window air conditioner which drives the fan near to the condenser coil to achieve cooling of the refrigerant. The motor also drives the fan near to the evaporator coil to blow air into the conditioned space. So this is how cooling is achieved using window air conditioner.